All right, today we're going to solve a classic workplace mystery. I'm talking about the case of the missing shared calendar. If you've ever just stared at your screen wondering where in the world your team's schedule went, then yeah, you are definitely in the right place. Uh, you know that feeling, right? You're trying to set up a super important meeting. You click open Outlook to check the shared calendar and poof, it's just gone again. And that sinking feeling, that's your entire workflow grinding to a halt. And listen, you are not alone in this, not by a long shot. A whopping 90% of people who use Outlook email also rely on that built-in calendar. So when it breaks, it's not some tiny little glitch. No, it's a huge disruption for literally millions of people just trying to get their work done. So let's be clear, this is so much more than just a tech problem. When that shared calendar vanishes, collaboration just stops, dead in its tracks. We're talking missed deadlines, total scheduling chaos. It's a complete breakdown in how a team is supposed to work together. And the source material we're looking at really nails the true cost of this. It says this seemingly small issue can, and I quote, significantly hinder productivity. And what does that really mean? Well, it translates directly into lost time and, you guessed it, lost money for the company. Okay, so why does this keep happening? Let's get into the weeds a little bit. It turns out there are a handful of common culprits. Let's go ahead and unmask these usual suspects, shall we? I mean, just look at this list. It really shows you how fragile the whole native system is. The problem could be anything, right? Insufficient permissions, weird sync errors, or something as simple as someone not clicking accept on an invitation. Any one of these things can just bring your team's scheduling to a screeching halt. So what do we do? Naturally, we start looking for a fix. And yeah, there are some first aid type solutions you can try. But let's be real, they usually feel like just slapping a tiny band-aid on a problem that you know is just gonna pop up again. Okay, take checking permissions for instance. The person who owns the calendar has to log into the web version, click through a bunch of menus, and manually check everyone's access. And if something's wrong, they have to remove you and then add you back in. It's this super tedious multi-step chore that pulls two people away from their real jobs all just to fix a supposedly simple tool. And this all leads to a really important question, doesn't it? Should you be spending your time doing your actual job or constantly fixing the tools that are supposed to help you do your job? You know, that endless cycle of fixing and refixing is just a massive productivity killer. So what if, instead of constantly patching a system that's clearly flawed, you could just upgrade the whole system itself? I think it's time we move past these temporary fixes and look for a solution that's actually, you know, seamless. And that's exactly where a tool like the Virto Calendar app from Microsoft 365 comes into play. It plugs right into your existing Microsoft setup. But here's the key. It's built from the ground up specifically to solve these kinds of common Outlook problems by making visibility and syncing way more reliable. So let's really look at how Virto tackles the exact pain points we've been talking about. Because this isn't just another workaround, okay? This is a fundamental upgrade to the way your team can manage its schedules. And when you put them side by side, the difference is, well, it's night and day. Standard Outlook, prone to sync errors. Virto, you get reliable performance. Outlook has really basic sharing, while Virto gives you advanced permissions management. It's a huge step up in pretty much every category that normally causes all that frustration. Now, one of the most powerful things about it has to be the single unified view. Virto literally pulls everything together. We're talking your exchange calendars, meeting rooms, SharePoint lists, all your planner tasks, even external calendars from Google or iCal feeds. Everything you need is right there in one single spot. And the best part, you can customize that view however you want. You can color code all the different events and sources to create this really clear overlay. And just like that, suddenly these super complex schedules become totally intuitive. You can see your team's entire workload in just a single glance. Which, you know, it all brings us to a really important question you have to ask yourself. Is your current calendar actually helping you? Or is it just another tool that you have to wrestle with every single day? The source material pretty much wraps it up by saying that for anyone who needs more than just the basics, Virto offers a, and again, I'm quoting, a robust and feature-rich solution. It's really the go-to alternative for teams that can't afford to have their tools fail on that. And that really brings us to the final thought I want to leave you with. Is your calendar just a, a list of appointments? Or is it a true active collaboration engine that's actually pushing your team's productivity forward? Seriously, the answer to that question could completely change the way you work.